Hey y'all, welcome back to Harmon Homestead. It's been a long time, okay? We have probably not made a video in the past year. We took a break and we said we're just gonna get off media and just try to recoup what we have here. A lot of you know, a lot of you don't know um, that a year ago we lost all of our chickens to a predator attack. We had some dogs get in our chicken coops and that was not nice. So we had to start from the ground up and literally rebuild everything. And this has been a long process, but we, we built everything back. It's all better than it ever was. And now we're incubating for the new spring. So it's been a long year with that. We um, got chickens that we wanted and we said we're really going to do this right and what we want and we have olive eggers that are in the incubator and we have french black copper morans we have all types of breeds that we're so excited to have we have uh wheat and americanas if you know anything about chickens then you get where i'm coming from if you don't know anything about chickens look at our previous videos we started out with chickens. I can tell you all about a chicken, anything you want to know. I've shown videos how to candle eggs if you're incubating yourselves. I have shown you videos on how to take newly hatched chicks from the incubator to a brooder box, what to use for a brooder box, feed, um, how to tell if your chick is a boy or girl at three days old. I've done tons of these videos and we're gonna stick with that. This past year, we've had a huge setback as well. We've had several problems, but last year here in rural Alabama, where we live, we were in a drought. It would rain at the beginning of our county road and not rain half a mile down the road where we live. It, every day this past summer, we planted corn. I couldn't even lay it by and I've done a video on that how to lay by corn we couldn't fertilize it we couldn't even get it to sprout because it was so dry it was literally just seeds sitting in dirt our harvest was horrible this year green beans the year before i think i canned 73 quarts this year i canned eight we had the worst time with growing this year and so i just i took a break i said i'm not going to do a video i i don't have anything to show you and I felt almost like a failure when looking back, I really should have just done the videos and showed you the entire time what we were going through because I bet some of you guys were going through it as well. The whole point of this that I wanted to do YouTube was to inspire other people that are in our age bracket especially to homestead and garden and raise your own food and be sustainable. And I felt like I couldn't show you that because I had nothing to show. I had no flock of chickens. They were gone. I had no vegetables. I had nothing. And I worried so much on creating content that I just, I lost myself somewhere along the way. I enjoyed it more than anything. I just became so overwhelmed trying to find something to show you because I wasn't having success myself. So with that being said, I enjoy sitting here and I enjoy talking to you. That is probably not my best videos, but I enjoy that. And you know what? We're back. We're going to get back to it. I've said this before. We're, we're a young couple. We're new. We are not technologically advanced. And I have the track wrap to see how many views I have. And I just let it go to the wayside. I didn't think about it. I didn't check on it. And for some reason or another, several of y'all have commented to us, and I didn't even know we were getting these notifications, so I apologize about that. And I think most of these were incubator questions. I'm going to do another incubator video, and I will try to answer every question y'all have sent us, because I just found these. But we are up <laughs> with subscribers, and I think in the past 48 hours, we've had almost 200 views, which is pocket change to some people. But to us, that means a lot. Like, I figured it'd be zero zilch. But we've had people watch us and actually new subscribers and we've sat here idle and done nothing. So something must have worked along the way somewhere. And we appreciate you guys. You've, you've been there for us. The comments 
mean more to me than anything. I, the comments and the subscribers, people to follow along and watch us, but we've not done anything for you guys to watch. So, I wanted an overnight success, and I think it, ours is more just slow and steady. So, we're going to start back. We, again, are in rural Alabama. If you do not know us, we're Harmon Homestead. We're a husband and wife couple who has decided to live this type of life and we love it. I started out with six chickens and six or seven and now have quite a few. So we've been through hardships. We have been through tumultuous, tumultuous times, but we have overcame. So this year, the gardening, we are going to do, we have a raised bed that's a uh, very, large size bed in our backyard. We have that and then we have our pasture garden. We're gonna plant both. We're gonna keep on going after it. We have just started our pepper seeds indoors. I start all of my seeds, most of all of our seeds inside and then do transplants. I have done videos on that. If you are not familiar with that, get you a packet of seeds and start them inside because it is so much easier doing that than going and getting the transplants. I like to start my own. I know I just like to watch the growth. I like the science of it, and that's what I enjoy. So we have done that already. Peppers, eggplants, and several herbs take a long time to grow, so you need to go on and do that now if you are in central Alabama. Look up your planting zone and see where you are. Um, you can look this up on the internet and see. So, We've already started that. We have two incubators right now that are full. We have um, our silky pen, we have frizzle chickens, and then we have some Tolbunt Polish. That was my dream chicken. And we had one hen out of everything we hatched from these Tolbunt eggs, and they were all roosters except two. One hen did not make it, and the other one um, was attacked by a possum the other night. So. She had just started laying. I had four eggs already set aside, so I threw them in the incubator as soon as I could, and they're all growing, and they should hatch next weekend. We'll do a video on that. The other incubator, I have Wheaton Americanas, Olive Eggers, and Moran. So, and also Blue Lace Red Wine Dots. If you are just now getting into chickens, <clears throat> or you are contemplating getting into chickens because of the egg crisis, the chicken crisis, I would get a sustainable dual purpose breed. We love the wine dots because they're huge hefty birds. They can be used as meat chickens, but they're great egg layers that lay a huge light brown egg. So we like the wine dots and they come in all kind of beautiful colors. We've got golden laced and blue laced red. We've we've got one silver laced. We love them all. You can have black laced red, you can get splash, we've got those. So they're they're beautiful chickens that are very hardy and we enjoy those. You can go for egg color, you can go for the chicken's feather pattern, you could go for uh, sustainability. Just take all this into consideration. I would highly recommend incubating my own eggs. If you have a rooster, you're good. So that's what we enjoy to do. The science of it, the fun, and it's there. You're sustainable, you can do it yourself. We, have had so many people ask us for our eggs. A lot of people, you know, kind of wanted to laugh when this first started about, oh, y'all homesteading, you know, it's the ha ha ha. But now it's a lot of people have reached out and wanted these eggs. And it's crazy to us. It's, it makes you feel good because you feel like, hey, I'm needed. So we've had, a, needless to say, we've had a lot of irons in the fire the past year, but we're back. As, again, as far as videos, guys, there's going to be a lot of sitting here talking because there may not be anything new to show you to do. You can only try so much. So, as far as the content, I'm not going to stress out about it. I'm not going to worry about it. Guys, we're here and I'm, I'm just throwing this video out here because I feel encouraged. I saw we had several new subscribers and I said, where are these people coming from? And then I saw all the views. So I said, people are actually watching these videos. So whatever we're doing, whatever we're doing right, please let us know and we'll continue. We'll try to accommodate every way we can, but we really just want to sit back and have fun. 
And that was the whole purpose of this to begin with and to encourage people to start homesteading. It's been the toughest thing we've ever done and it has certainly been the toughest thing I've ever done, <laughs> but it's worth it. And it sure is worth it now. I wouldn't take anything for this and the knowledge that we have now on how to be sustainable. So we're gonna curl up here by the fire. We're enjoying this cold, gloomy day and making the best of it and start you some seeds. If it's time, look into your own flock and follow along. We are Harmon Homestead. See you next time.